So today I'm going to show you the process of installing Grafana. Grafana is a widely used tool for monitoring predefined AWS systems metrics and custom metrics too. The process is very straightforward and simple. So without wasting much time on the discussion, let me start, uh, jump into the, the work. So I'm here on the AWS console. I've already logged in. Click on services, go to EC2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provision an EC2 instance first, and then we'll install the Grafana on it. Post that, what we are going to do is that we are going to assign a relevant role to that uh, Grafana instance so that it's able to pull up the metrics from the AWS and, and then we can visualize it on the Grafana dashboard. So click on instances, launch instances, and then select Amazon Linux 2. So we are just going Doing it for the learning purpose, I'm going to use the free tier Elizabeth instance, click next. I'm not changing anything related to BPC subnet or anything, just going to launch it under default BPC uh, and then the public subnet. So it has the public IP associated with uh, that we will be needed to uh, access the Grafana from the web browser. Next stories, I'm not changing anything here to Tags, you can put up a tag like name Grafana. Next, security group. Let's create a new security group, Grafana. See. The inbound rules, for now I'm just going to allow it to put 2022 so that we are able to assess it to that instance. Review and launch. The key, I am going to use the existing key pair. If you do not have one, you can always go and create a new key pair. So since I have the existing key pair, I'm going to use that launch instance. Oh, it's showing the security group Grafana already exist. Back to review previous, I'll just rename it to SG1. and then acknowledge and then launch. Perfect. So our EC2 instance is being launched now. Okay, let's wait for it to come up. Okay, so it's up and running now. Let's pick the public IP of this. Go to Putty, connect to this EC2 instance. Provide the public IP here and then click open. Okay. The username is going to be EC2 user. This is comes by default. Okay. Now go to super user. The installation of the Grafana is going to be using the repo files. So we need to go to TC. And then the scripts, what I'm going to use here for this installation, I'm going to provide these under the video description. So you can just copy the scripts from there or you can just download it. So you need to go to etc m.repos.d directory. Okay, so once you are inside this directory, you need to create a file called grafana.repo. So this is mentioned here, grafana.repo. Press I to insert the content in it. And then you need to just copy paste this. Press escape, colon, W, sorry, press escape colon w q exit so once this is done now let's install the grafana okay 
Okay, so the Grafana is being installed now on this machine. Okay, so the installation is done now. What we have to do now is, we just heard this. Okay. Let's pick this IP, go to the browser and the default port for the Grafana is 3000. So let's try to access the Grafana now. not accessible right so we need to do a bit of troubleshooting here as well the first thing is that while we created this security group we did now allow we did not allow this port 3000 so that is the reason we are unable to access it now so we need to allow that port on the security group and give it anywhere say rules now this is done but you still can't access it, right? So what we need to do is that we need to check the status of Grafana on this machine. System CTL status. Okay, so it's inactive. So what we need to do, we need to restart it. And now check the status. Okay, so now it's active and running. Now go back to the browser, refresh it. Perfect, so now we are, have now installed the Grafana successfully. We can access it from the browser. Let's provide, so the default username password, I believe it's going to be admin admin, just try. Okay, so it's working. Now you can change the password. It's for your convenience, you can pick any other password. Okay, so this is the one part of Grafana installation that's done. We can access it uh, from the browser, right? So now, in order to pull the matrix from the AWS, what we need to do, okay, let me, before that, let me show you first, uh, adding up the data sources here. So if you click here on the data source, you see a lot many options here, like parentheses and a lot many other applications. So we just going to use CloudWatch and the dashboards, the, we are going to import EC2, ABS, Lambda, CloudWatch Logs, RDS. So these dashboards we have imported now. Now go back to Grafana, try to access one of these dashboards. So let me try for the Amazon EC2. Okay. It's not displaying anything. Instead, it's showing some error. Could not find reason or configuration. So let me go back there.
me pick the reason AP Southeast one. Save and test. Now go back to the dashboards. Try to access Amazon EC2 dashboard here. But still we can't see anything. It's showing some error, metric request error. So the reason why we are seeing this error is that we haven't allowed that Grafana EC2 instance to pull out the logs from the CloudWatch. So what we will have to do, we will have to assign a relevant role to this instance. So let me create a role. Let's go to security, identity and compliance. Select IEM. Click on policies, create policy. So I have the JSON with me, I'm going to use that. Next tax, I'm not providing any tax here review and the policy name grafana policy so you can see the allowed roles using this policy cloudwatch ec2 let's create this policy okay so once policy is completed let's go to roles set up a new role attaching the, this newly created policy so this role we are creating for the ec2 instance select that and next and the policy what we had created so I'll check for that and this is the policy what we created custom policy next the role name is i'm going to give grafana ec2 role and then create role. Okay, so now role has been created. What we have to do now, we need to assign this role to the EC2 instance where our Grafana is running. So let's go to EC2 instance. Select this actions security modify the role. Okay, select the role graph on IC2 role for what we had created and then update it. So now we have given the authority to this graph on IC2 instance to pull the CloudWatch logs uh, from our C2 console. So let's refresh it, go back to our Grafana and try to refresh the Grafana dashboard. Perfect, now we can see the data here, right? The total network out, bandwidth, the network, uses inbound traffic, outbound traffic, disk details. So now it's able to pull the data from CloudWatch without any issues. So you can try for some other, we had given the access for, let's try for some other dashboard. So it doesn't have any data to show up here. And in fact, the access what we have given, I think just for the EC2. So that's the reason you're not able to see the data any under any other dashboard. We do not have launched any RDS instance, so it's blank. But the, the fact is that you are not seeing any error here now. Whenever you will launch provision any RDS instance there, you'll be able to see the metrics here. 
So that was the motto behind setting up this graph on a dashboard to monitor the AWS matrix here. So since we have one EC2 instance running and it's showing the data associated with this EC2 instance CPU utilization. You can see here this graph, the total network traffic outbound plus inbound. All these details are private. Okay, I think that's it for today's lecture. Thanks for your patience and thanks for watching my video. Have a good day. Bye.